Maybe she'll call you at home. She's got your number. Maybe. Hello? Yeah. Honey, listen to me. I want you to meet... Hello? Jean? It's Jean. She's found a nice box. Uh, that's fine. Jean, something's happened. I've got to talk to her. I don't know where she lives. Will you go to the company's accounting department and see if they'll give you the, the address of the old lady that paid for her ticket? She might have paid by check, and if she did, they'll, ha they'll have her address. Well, will you do that, Jean? Thanks. She'll get it. You know, Jean, she's a regular detective. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hello, Mary? Mary, will you please meet me tomorrow and at least let me talk to you? If you want me to, where shall I meet you? Any place you say. Would, uh, would Jean's apartment be all right? Tomorrow morning? You know where it is. You're sure? All right, Mary, I'll be waiting for you. Goodbye, Mary. Well, it's something. He's so considerate. Did I tell you he's one of nine boys? It isn't only considerate, he's... He's so sincere. His father is one of 11 boys. You know what this is? It's a Cinderella story. Only the boy is Cinderella. It's just turned about. Rich princess and a poor boy. It isn't penniless. It's $1,200. He has, eh? That'll come in handy. I know very few women in our family ever married, well, only for love. I certainly never counted on it. I never would even let myself think about it. Not since I was a little girl. One of nine boys. Extraordinary. I'm not entitled to be this happy. His father, one of 11. Remarkable. Home. That's what I like. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Jean. We better hurry. Mary's meeting me at your place. She is. Are you sure? She called up right after you did. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Come on out, Jean. You sure you want to hear this? If it's about her, I want to hear it. Well, her ticket wasn't paid for by a woman, but by a man, a middle-aged man. She lives at the St. Charles in a private apartment of the hotel. The apartment is registered in his name. <laughs> 